You preach the word of God and the youth are not interested. You talk about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and the youth despises so much. You go to social media and you look at the followership or the viewership of all entertainment programs on TV, especially during the just ended festive you know, season, and you'll be wowed by the numbers. And yet when it comes to the word of God, the youth, most of them, they despise it. Pleasure. Alcohol, women, men, sex. Most importantly, the power, the fame, pleasure upon pleasure. This is what the youth of our generation love to do, pleasure. Expending all of their resources on pleasure. Gone were the days when there was full reception of men of God in the corners of the streets, in the villages, in the towns. There was full reception by the people, eager to listen to the voice of God and to walk in the ways of God. Of course, 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse 4, C mentions that in the last days, men and women will be lovers of pleasure than lovers of God. I now understand why you're more eager to buy expensive phones, more expensive phones than Bibles. You will spend all your time memorizing, singing the latest hit songs than memorizing and reciting verses of the Holy Writ. You'll be singing for hours, rhyming, with, they call it rapper, rapping, rap, rap, rapaholic, rapping. And doing all of that, ah, Ecclesiastes 11 verse 9, Rejoice, O young man, in the days of your youth. Solomon was right. Walk in the ways of your heart. He was right. And in the sight of your eyes, he was right. But guess what? He says, but know this, that for all this, the Lord will bring you into judgment. Judgment. Believe it or not, you will be judged. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, for we must all appear before the judgment throne of our Lord Jesus Christ and whatever we did with our bodies we shall give account you want to enjoy sex enjoy it you want to enjoy all the artists enjoy them you want to enjoy entertainment enjoy them you want all the pleasure for yourself do but I'm reminding you youth the Lord will bring each one of you into judgment continue to despise the word of God continue to live in pleasure. I remember what Apostle Paul John said. He says, First John 2 15, that was, Do not love the world or the things of the world. For anybody that loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The world and its desires, pleasures pass away. But they that do the will of God will stay forever. What is it going to be? See how you're so enthusiastic and you're so, you know, energized by entertainment and pleasure. But when it comes to the things of God, zero. Most of you, nothing, nothing in you that suggests that you're close to God. Even when you choose to be in the house of God, you choose to be there for the sake of entertainment. You want to entertain yourself, not to serve God in spirit and in truth. This is the kind of generation we find ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, young men, young women, youth, listen to me. Everything that has a beginning 
has an end. How many of your friends have you seen died? How many? How many of them have you visited their funeral or their graveyards? How many? How many of them have you, you know, buried? They were once upon a time like you. You will also go. You want to spend all your time on pleasure, on entertainment. I will stop you. Live in the moment. But in the heat of your moment, a disaster is about to happen. A tragedy is about to hit you. Something that will not permit you to live here again on earth. And that is Mr. Death. You will experience him one day. You will experience him. So whatever you got to do, do it. But remember, from the creation of this world to its destruction, everything has to do with the word of God. A word to be wise is enough. I'm jealous. I'm sad. I'm angry at the world, at the youth. Why? We pay attention to everything but the word of God. You preach the true gospel. You teach the wisdom of God. And the youth, you are not interested. On TikTok, you will not listen. On faith, you will not listen. You will not listen to any word that is coming from the mouth of God. But you have all the time for pleasure and entertainment. Listen to me. David says something remarkably. Lord, teach me to number my days. Let me know the length of my days that I may have a heart of wisdom. Do you know when you're going to die? No idea. Have you any idea if you're going to be Coming back from where you're going, no idea. Wisdom will save you. It is about time you sought God in these early lives. Youth, remember your creator in the days of your youth. Please, take it slowly. Pleasure will kill you. Too much alcohol will destroy you. Too much sex will destroy you. Please, if you don't want to be a part of the heavenly kingdom, it is a choice. Make a decision now as to whether you will respect the things of God or not. But I'll continue to sound the warning that you will not be here for eternity. Sooner or later, you'll be looking for Pastor Bernard and he'll be no more. We shall be looking for you and you'll be no more. Accountability is what you got to do. And how is it going to be? Would you get it right or you get it wrong? A word to a wise is enough. Stop entertaining yourself too much. Stop, stop wasting your life on pleasure. And listen to God for once. And he shall be well with you. You want to live long? Respect God. Love the things of God. Desire to hear the word of God. Each day, be thirsty and hungry for the word of God. Onokwan <laughs> Bessum Yamiana, I say me, why any more, why any more? 